trailer is working, right? So this is my little contraption. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings. Alishan Mo here. Welcome to another video of uh, DIY homemade mini electric boat build video series, which possibly is going to be the biggest RC boat I have ever built. Now, today's tasks are very simple, so let's go over with what I'm going to do today. Starting with the simple task is to add this camera mount so I can add action cameras, Insta360 camera mount, or any other action cameras that I can put on this one. Then the next big task today is to uh, this one I got this uh, very cheap from the local portal and I need to turn this into a mini trailer that I can pull the boat with uh, you know motorcycle bicycle or electric scooter or electric skateboard you name it using this I can easily pull the boat and go to the river which is not very far And then, yes, all my 3D printed parts are ready for motor installation. And I want to start with one motor, of course, see how, how much power I can get with one motor. If not enough power, then I will go with two motors. So this right here is, so this right here is my motor mount, like semi motor mount, which will be fit with these clamps right here, motor clamps. They actually fit very well and very strong. I've also glued the motor so that uh, you know double uh, safety the motor will not fall off and then we have these brackets tube will be on this okay two screws going all the way in so it will lock the fiberglass tube on this and then the brackets will go on this and brackets will fit on this piece okay which will be eventually right there on the boat backside and then I have these locks and then I have these locks that will lock this shaft, I mean this tube, onto these brackets so that it will not go down. And then I have these rudder arms which will be on top in the end to turn the motor angle left and right. For which I'm thinking to go with this King Max servo. It's a CL2511S I believe and it's a high speed digital high voltage servo very powerful uh, puts out 15 kg 15 kilograms of torque and i think that's more than enough to turn this single motor uh, using this shaft this will be more than enough so at the moment as we speak a 3d printed mount for this servo is being printed uh, in my house and once it's ready i'll bring it down so these are the tasks today Let's get to work, get this baby ready because I really want to put it in water and have some fun with it.
So this is my little contraption, little DIY homemade trailer for my boat, which is also a homemade boat, probably the biggest RC boat, and I'm going to pull it with my little electric screwer. Installing the steering it was easy. It's right here. Okay, it works. And down there's a pulley. Now I have to install these mini mini pulleys that I have 3D printed. Okay, in different places, the string will go all the way back and move this rudder rudder arm. My only worry is if the 3D printed motor mount and everything will actually hold or not. We're going to find out today. Alright, so this is our steering. Come on, check this out. These two cables are coming here, not cables. This is actually wool. I couldn't find nicer string, but as we have to test it, so I'm just going to go with the string. Now look at the steering there. So, left and right hands are okay, they're gonna work. Now I need to just center the steering. I also need to make sure that these connectors are first connected in the right way so the motor spins in the right direction and then uh, waterproof these connectors. So, why this is not, okay, this is on, this is off. Now, I need to make sure to plus minus follow it really nicely and we're just going to test with 4S motor so here we go Bismillahirrahmanirrahim I'm connecting it okay now let's see <laughs> okay this is in the wrong direction so <laughs> let's just come here Let's just swap one of these cables to this side and one this side. Okay, now we can test again. Ready? Nice! Awesome! Everything works. So now let me waterproof these by putting on some uh, uh, silicone and uh, uh, heat shrink and then we can take it to the water for testing. my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right. <laughs>